G'day guys and girls, thanks for tuning in to Killer Keyboards and on this episode we're going to do a review on the custom keyboard cable from Cable Mod. This video is not sponsored but they did send me out some cables to check out so let's dig into it with my honest thoughts. Custom cables come in many styles but today I have the Pro Chord in Midnight Black and the Classic version in Rum Raisin. Note that the Classic version does not come with a connector. First impression from the unboxing is that Cable Mod presents themselves as a mass producer who is legit. You get a little card of quality assurance which also thanks you for buying their cables. Reassurance is definitely nice especially when you're trying to build a credible brand. Taking the cable out you also get this little rubber thing that you put your cable in for better alignment while sitting on your desk. It has an adhesive side on the bottom. Just to note you only get this for the pro version and not the classic. Full disclosure, I've never bought a custom cable personally because I actually tried to make one myself. This is how it turned out. So for a bit of reference, let's use my own to compare along with the ones you get in some budget kits. Most custom cables use a USB connection that is crimped onto the wire and has a heat shrink to protect it. Cable Mod uses a plastic housing with their logo printed. It feels more sturdy than the cable I made myself. A straw is inserted inside the coil to help maintain the shape during shipping. The overall feel of the cable is very stiff and firm. The text flex is consistent with no scuffs or irregularities. I believe they used a reverse coil method to ensure the coil shape is not lost over time. This cable came with the Iki 68 Aura kit and honestly it's pretty nice. It also has a plastic USB connector with a simple coil but without the Texflex sleeving. Next cable was included in the KBD 67 Lite. It looks like a telephone cable that feels really cheap. The coils are very thin in diameter and isn't very visually appealing. Nonetheless, it is a budget kit which provides newcomers with a USB-C cable in case they don't have one. It too has a plastic USB connector housing. So why are custom cables more expensive even though they serve the same purpose? Well, it's purely for aesthetics and I assume each cable is made by hand. When I tried making my own cable, it took me two attempts. Here's the first one I made, just using paracord and it was really time consuming. I did buy a DIY kit but had to source some other parts just to make it look the way I wanted. So having experienced that, I think it's well worth purchasing one from someone that knows what they're doing unless you want to try it out for yourself. Cable Mod has a wide range of options for you to fully customise your cable to the way you want. If you use the configurator, it gives you a good visual representation. I won't go into detail on all the customisable components but you can check that out for yourself and the link will be in the description. They also have pre-designed ones which are the ones that I have. The Classic is priced at $39.90 and the Pro is $49.90 USD. So are the cables from Cable Mod killer? I haven't bought custom cables before but I have to say I am satisfied with what they sent me. I would personally buy one myself. From the unboxing experience to the quality of the actual product, I think it's a nice purchase if you have the spare money. So that's all I have for cable mods. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment and I'll see you on the next one.